Good morning, friends. I'm Brigitte, and this is what tomorrow brings. Today, I am in Paris, France. During my stay here, I want to take you to the places that were so good, I had to come back for a second visit. As you know, France is known for crepes, and when you're in Paris, you'll see so many options, whether it be street vendors, cafes, or even fine dining restaurants. Today, however, I want to show you a place in Paris that's doing crepes with another level of care and craftsmanship. It's a restaurant which has its origins in Britannia, in France's northwestern region. This place is more of an experience than just a meal, and I'm so excited to share it with you. Let's go. To start our meal today, we wanted to order some of their oysters. We didn't get to have these last time, and we honestly weren't sure why there was oysters uh, in the menu for a crank restaurant. After a little bit more research, Brittany produces over 60,000 tons of oysters a year. So being that this is a Britannian restaurant, or Breton restaurant, we needed to try the oysters. So briny, so fresh. My goodness. It's like dipping your head underwater in the ocean, somewhere on the English Channel. Which, by the way, these are from the Cancal coast, which is on the English Channel, particularly from that northern coast. Cold waters. And this is right now, we're in beginning of April. So we're probably coming towards close to the end of the oyster season, but these are just still mm, cold as the Atlantic. <laughs> so this restaurant grows apple trees in their buckwheat fields. So they also offer apple ciders. And another thing we didn't know paired so well, apple cider and the crepes. If you can see just how beautiful this color is, these rosy, amber, golden tones, it just makes sense that it would go together. The last time we were here, our cider was a little bit sweeter. This time we asked for the brut. This one's a little bit drier, but you still get that nice apple punch where it, it's like you're, you're, you're drinking apple juice, but it's got this beautiful effervescence. And it's very low in alcohol too, so it's very enjoyable. So our crepes have arrived. I got the complete onion, and it is cheese and ham and caramelized onions and a beautiful egg yolk in the center. The first thing that stands out the most is how beautiful the actual crepe itself looks. It is a buckwheat crepe and it has this beautiful crunchy caramel color to it that is just like, it looks like a cracker but it's chewy and crispy, salty, nutty. It, it's almost like you're biting into like a crispy piece of cheese. The buckwheat flavor just comes out that way. Their buckwheat is grown on farms that they own or locally sourced from other farms in the region. And I think that is what really, really goes into making this so delicious. The crunch in here is so nice. Crunchy, crispy. <laughs> Let's dig into the center of the crepe now. So here we have these beautiful caramelized onions and this yolk. Let's break into that. Oh wow. Perfectly done. Wow. All right. Oh wow, this is going to be a good piece. We've got some yolk, we've got some ham, and of course our crispy crepe in there, and the onions. The onions in here make it, because your crepe, your cheese, ham, everything is so savory. But these onions are caramelized till they're almost 
disappearing in the plate and it just adds a little bit of sweetness to it and complements all the other ingredients so well and then it's crispy you're kind of cutting into that crepe and it's a little bit difficult but it's it's, it's good because you're getting this nice crispy piece in every bite and that yolk is just the freshest thing you're ever gonna have and then some apple cider to go along with it, it it's like drinking champagne it's just so good mm. that tartness to complement the buckwheat flavor, the nuttiness, the contrast. It's so good. Down to my last bite. Oh, I was hoping it would take longer to get here than it did. We've got crepe, ham, onion, egg. That was wonderful. I'm so glad we came back to this place. The quality was just as amazing as the first time and we got to try the oysters. This place is really doing it well. I mean, the artisanship, the craftsmanship from the buckwheat all the way from the grain to the table. It is just an experience all the way throughout and you can taste it. I love how they're highlighting the region of Britannia and it's just a little piece of the northwestern coast of France right here in Paris. If you guys enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. It really, really helps us out. And we have two more weeks left in Paris. So we've got a lot more that we want to show you and we cannot wait to share it. So we'll see you on the next one.